Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial number 8 of EasyXL, part of easyprogramming.net. Today I want to add on to the tutorial I did last time on easy formatting and show you how you can very easily create your own formats uh, in Excel. Uh, it comes in handy so that if you use the same type of formatting every time you do an Excel spreadsheet, if you have some kind of a template, you can just save the cell styles so that you don't have to recreate it every time or go to your old cells or go to your old spreadsheets and copy it over. You can, you can save it all into the styles menu here. Uh, the best way to do this is to just select uh, the cell you want to edit and just edit it once. So let's say I want to, for an example, I will change the text color to the darker you know, accent to 25% here. Right? Uh, let's say I want to change the formats, the, the font, to something like, uh, I will go with, I'll go with Georgia. Right? Let's expand that a little bit. Uh, let's say I want to make it pop a little bit. So I want to add a couple of borders. You can do it here, like a bottom border. And we will add a top border as well. See if you take away, you'll see the bottom and the top border. But I want to edit uh, the border. So if you click on the drop down arrow and then more borders, uh, you'll get this option under format cells. Let's say I want to make the same color. Since it's a predefined color, I'll just click on orange accent 2 again. I'll make it a little bit thicker, the style. Click on the top and bottom borders, and voila. It already looks a lot better than it did before, and it's very readable, it's very presentable, it looks professional, right? And it looks very different from any of the styles that you see here. You can make more edits to it, you don't have to. Let's say I want to change this to font 12, and I want to center this always, right? And I want to make the rest of it look the same way, and let's say I do this every week, you know, every day. I don't want to keep copying formats over from past spreadsheets. I want to make this a default style here. So I'll select this cell and then I will click on new cell style. This pop up you get this pop up option. I'll just change this to um to say column title. Uh this preview here shows you what it is. Number is general, alignment is horizontal centered, yes. Uh font is Georgia 12 top bottom borders no shading unlocked right if you click on format you can see those options again alignment font border fill protection right uh, let's press ok and now if you click on the more options here under styles you see that the column title one here is listed under the custom section in the styles section of the home ribbon right so now let's say I want to do this for all of this I'll just click on you know column title and it it moves, it, you know, it applies the formatting to all of them. It looks pretty cool, right? It's pretty readable. It's not ugly. Uh, you know, dark orange on white looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's as easy as that. Uh, let's say I want to modify this a little bit. You can. If you click on right, if you right click and you click on modify, you'll get this option here. You have to click on this format button and you can go through the fonts, you know, the borders, the alignments and change it a little bit. Uh, but let's say I want to apply similar style to this, but not exactly the same. So right click, you click on duplicate. It will tell you column title 2. Let's do row title. Since I want to do row, I will do formatting. Borders, I will not need any borders. So I'll just remove the borders. Uh, alignment, let's say I want it to be right aligned, so that it's all right aligned. Uh, formatting everything else I will leave as is the size I'll leave down to 11 right there we go there you go general right Georgia 11 no borders no shading left and here we have this thing uh, we have another option here that says row title right next to column title now if I select all of this and click on row title this is what it looks like it's very similar but also different from what we did before and it took just a few seconds of editing so you can make your you can make your spreadsheets and your tables look very pretty uh, by creating your own cell styles you can also make your job a lot easier by doing this um, you know that's all there is to creating your own cell styles this will always stay here even if you close Excel you know as long as you don't uninstall it uh, even if you uninstall it, it might stay there in some sort of app data but I haven't tested that yet uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Um, you know, this is the same table as I used last time. Um, 
you know, thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe to my channel and visit easyprogramming.net and support the site. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.